Hey everyone, how's it going? The Boone here, and today we're going to be doing another BTP6 video, and it will be on Alpine Run. So thanks to one of my subscribers, Bach, he recommended that I do more chimps maps, and I would be glad and greatly to do it, and he said do Alpine Run or Hedge, but the problem is I have not done Alpine Run yet on, on chimps. So we're going to have to do alternate balloon rounds first. So if you've already beaten this, just skip on through the video, or maybe you want to try it a new way. And again, I don't use any monkey knowledge, so this will just be completely purest as it can be. And let's get started. But before we do, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Let me know some more maps you guys would like me to play. Uh, thank you, Bot, for suggesting this one. I will get to Improbable, and I will get the Chimps. I know you wanted Chimps, and we'll get there. But first, we got to beat through this. And I was just going to play it myself, and then you know, just do ch go straight to chimps, but I was having troubles with this one, so I figured, hey, I'd, let's make a video so everyone, if, in case they're having troubles, they can get through it too. So first, what we're gonna do is throw down a druid, and um, it's all pretty straightforward after a few rounds, but these first rounds are very crucial to follow these steps. You probably have your own steps, but this particular strategy, you have to do this. I don't know why, just how it plays out. So put this monkey as close as you can, because he, what he's going to do is get all the way as far right as he can because he's going to hit him at three points and hopefully if anything slips through he'll be able to peg it on the way out. So that's my goal for this. And as you know the camels are going to start rolling out but we don't have camel right? So but we only need 15 more dollars so we're going to wait till those greens come through. Druids and the monkey are going to pop them. So let's keep hitting that 215 because you need it as soon as it comes up. Come on there we go. So now he's going to pop all of them hopefully. Sometimes it, one will slip through. Okay, so now we're good on there, and we're going to get 110, get that quick one. Next thing we're going to get is this little druidic reach, and that will help us with all those blacks that are going to be coming out soon, because those are a little tough and a little tricky. Um, every other time I've gotten them, but sometimes, like I said, I've said before, I'm sure you guys all know this, but it's very, very weird with this game. Sometimes you'll play it three times, four times, and it works like a charm, and then for no random reason at all, like one of them gets through. Uh, that happens to me quite a bit. So that's why I'm going to slow down here just to make sure everything cleans up as it should. Our next upgrade is going to be this 205 in the middle for the Dart Monkey. Um, I'm taking a little too long, so let's speed it up a little bit. So Dart Monkey for there. And we're not going to have 430, and by the time we need it, we're not going to have this uh, droop. Or none of these will actually help us because what's going to happen is lead's coming out here in two levels. So the prep for lead, what we're going to do is our little open over here 700 and this guy sells for four so as soon as we hit that 300 mark we're getting rid of this little jabroni and we're gonna get the open so let's do that sell him put that right there right there I said oh, there we go so now open will handle the rest which is pretty awesome and our next upgrade is gonna be the 430 for the triple shot because that's a very strong tower as we all know we've used it many many times and you have to use it when you're not using monkey knowledge you don't have to but it's cheaper and it's easier and it does a lot of damage for what it does. So hopefully soon here we'll get our Brimble Patch of Death going. Okay, what's going on here? We might have to, hopefully you can pop these. If not, we're going to throw down a guy. Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay, so sell him. That probably won't happen to you. It doesn't have, I've, like I've said, I've played through this a couple times getting this video ready for you guys and that never happened to me. So hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, just quickly throw down that guy, the Dart Monkey, and sell him if you need to. That simple. Okay. Now that we got that covered, we will have camo leads coming soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to guess it's a waste of money and I don't like doing this, but just get him out of your way because he's not that cool. We're going to put him on strong and we're going to get camo, so night vision goggles, and then we're going to get full metal jacket and maybe that splatter thing too. And what's that? That's going to do is just help us with the camos a little bit, take the stronger ones off the dart monkey, and it's also going to take care of those camo leads that are going to come up real soon here. Make sure to keep putting down your brimble patches because it's free camo popping. And where's that 380? Getting money real slow here. I may get banana farms. I may not. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I don't think we need them. But at the same time, I'd like to just be better prepared for level 80 because it's going to get a little weird. So we probably should get a banana farm. But first, we're going to get a ninja and get him up a little bit because those purples are going to come out strong real soon here. So we want to prep for that. So we're going to get a ninja probably up to like a 2-2. Two, two. So top 2, bottom 2. And that'll keep us going for a little bit. And then we'll get a monkey farmer and, or a banana farmer with a monkey farmer. And we're just going to tear this whole game up, guys. Make it our monkey. And so there's 325 for that one. Let's get that 380 upgrade. So, so far we're chilling. We're not in easy street yet, 
Uh, we have all of our things. We have our camo, we have our purple popping, we have our lead camo, regular lead, um, but it's not enough. Trust me, this one gets a little crazy. So we're gonna get those 430 caltrops right there. Now our next hurdle is definitely going to be level 40, but what we're gonna do in the meantime is get a banana farm so we can get some money flowing in. And uh, before I put one down, I will get a monkey farmer. When I play by myself, I do not use monkey farmers. 99% of the time, less than poppable because I don't, I'm impoppable, you got too many levels going on, it's too much work to tap up. But for something like this, I would not use a monkey farmer, but because I'm talking and I talk way too much, it's hard to completely pay attention. So I am going to use a monkey farmer and it will make this easier for me, hopefully. So monkey farmer, throw them right here, put them right there, there we go. So again, you don't have to do it. It's not unpeer to get it or anything like that. It just makes it easier, especially when I'm making videos and talking this whole time and trying to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it, which is a lot harder than it looks, guys. I don't know how many of you guys make videos, but it's not the easiest. That's why I make stupid mistakes sometimes. Because when you're playing by yourself, you, know, you got nobody watching, um, nobody's talking to you. You just do it, get it done, and it's real simple. But when you got, you know, you're trying to explain everything thoroughly while you're doing it at the same time, it's a little harder, especially when you haven't beaten level yourself yet. So, as I'm explaining, I'm trying to make sure I know the best thing to do at this given time. So he's gonna do that, he's gonna do that. Okay, we do have the Moab coming soon. So put this guy somewhat close, cause we're gonna cluster later and then we're gonna get a, um, what do you call it, a monkey village to take care of our camo hopefully not yet or anytime soon I don't want to use that right away because it costs too much to get camo for that monkey tower so hopefully the camos don't start rushing us too quick we might have to little do a little upgrading here and get that monkey tower but for now our biggest worry is level 40 for that fortified band-aid wrapped Moab coming out so he is gonna be a little tough so we need to prep for him we're gonna get our, our normal sniper monkey down with this full automatic thing and then that 1620 upgrade and then if we have the money which I hope that we do we're gonna get a chopper we're gonna get the chopper because the chopper will definitely help us take down that Moab if the sniper can't handle it so basically for Moabs and when you're not sure of how it's gonna be and how crazy the level is gonna be just always get people get monkey towers that chase the balloons chasing I mean like the never miss targeting on this guy or the sniper or the chopper or who else does that the mage is pretty good at chasing at short distances you want people who have chased the balloon so you can cover most of the map when you're in worry you know what i mean i shouldn't have done that upgrade first i thought i'd already upgrade the bottom but again i'm talking so i'm gonna make stupid mistakes that shouldn't cause us any problems but if it does i don't think it will we'll be fine guys don't trip too much so now we just need 500 more Let's see here 3780 there we go now he's gonna do all the work so now we're gonna get a chopper the chopper's gonna do most of the work too once he comes out but as you can see look at this guy going he already has 20 or 2,000 this guy's down so he's already caught up to this to the maid or the sorry the wizard and Obin both of them so chopper over here let's put him up here and what we're gonna do with him is obviously we're gonna get this one and then we're gonna get 540 for pursuit Ooh, there you go follow that thing put another guy down put all the brimble patches down if you haven't yet Okay, so that was a little easier than it looked which is awesome. I'm happy about that um, Now what we're gonna do is get more camo up camo power for right now And we're gonna get one more banana farm put as close as you can just one more We're not gonna get too greedy guys because I made that mistake before in these alternate boom rounds and I get caught off guard So next thing we're gonna do is get our faithful mage Let's slow it down though because I don't know exactly where I want to put him yet I'm thinking like right here, but here would be strong too. Let's put him right here actually. So let's go there, 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 there. He sees camel. So now we got more camel power. And once we get this 1405 upgrade, he'll be able to see even farther. So he is a strong ally at this point. There you go. Look at that beast mode. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get, we have our camel power. We have that power. I kind of want to upgrade this guy. I know we probably don't need to and you don't have to if you don't want to, but I just want to be on the safe side. I don't want to be caught off guard. So now I'm going to get more banana farms. See, normally I get banana farm and then upgrade a few guys, but this time we upgraded a few guys and got one banana farm. So we're being a little cautious, but cautious is always good on these rounds. Definitely. So 
We're gonna have, I think we have enough room for probably two more, so we'll have five banana farms. It's not bad. Keep putting down those little death patches. There we go. We have him. I'm gonna get another banana farm because I'm crazy like that. I would prefer that my next upgrade is a 10,000 uh, mage, but I don't think we'll have enough money for that, especially since things are starting to come down like that. Yeah, things are getting a little too hairy right there. Um, what do you guys think? Let's see here. So, let's think this one through. The chopper's good, decent popping power. We have the sniper. We have the mage. We have the ninjas already maxed out. Um, I'm just going to shoot for 10,000 here, guys. Just going to do it. I think that'll help us a lot. Then we can upgrade our banana farms. Let's hopefully he can take these things out on his own. Come on, take that thing out, guy. What are you doing? Okay. Um, all these, all these Moabs, man. We shouldn't have an issue, but I don't want to be on the offside either here. So come on, take out that Moab. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think we can actually get this ten thousand. Let's see here. Um, see, what's happening right now is the camos are getting a little overwhelming. We only have a few towers that can beat it. But now after we get this upgrade, okay, now we're in the safe zone for a while. Sorry I didn't talk as much and I had to think that one through and slow it down. But like I said, I haven't beaten this one for myself yet. So this is all new territory for me as well. What are you doing here? Is that going to reach? It does. Cool. So now we have five banana towers. They're really weak ones, but I mean this guy on his own collected 4,000. So that's really good. He's paid for himself and all the others if you want to think of it. So. Oof, we have decent popping power. We're pretty good for a while. Um, I think what I want to do is actually get this guy right here, this 3240. It helps a lot because what it does is it pushes back the balloons. And um, I don't want to use him as my main tower or my main um, chopper because I want to use the chopper that uses the bottom upgrades. Uh, like this one down here because, you know, the very bottom one. Because it gives him more popping power. So next what we're going to do is we have camo, we have that one. Let's upgrade this guy right here. And now, now we're going to throw in a couple support towers just because we do need to, we need to step up our game a little bit. It is going to start getting pretty tough. So we're going to go for this guy and we're going to go for Moab press quick shoot. Uh, we've used this guy a lot in my videos before, but he's very, very helpful. We're also going to start getting these glue guys out there too to slow them down. So boom, boom. Um, get all that, get all that. So now what's going to happen is they're going to slow them down in the beginning. Our chopper is going to push all the excess balloons back, and this guy's going to slow down everything so our mage can take it out. That is the goal. That should what happen. That is what's happening, and I think we'll be good. I don't know what's going to happen on 63 though on this one. Does it get crazy? Um, I think we're going to need a monkey up uh, of. Uh, Power guys, but I don't want to use it on this. Okay. What just happened there? You guys see that, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, so like reset or something. That was weird. Okay, so get that there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our mage with this, and we're going to also let everybody else see camo. So again, guys, sorry the commentary is not at its best. I'm trying to think through this one, and it's a little tougher than I thought it would be freehanding it so I've never played this myself obviously so um, it's new territory but I mean all the levels are pretty much the same in alternate balloon rounds you just gotta work through them but I just don't want to catch it off guard and I'm already on 62 we only have 18 levels left I don't want to like mess up something real bad right here at the end that would be pretty lame so what we're gonna do is upgrade some more banana farms um, actually that's a lie I want to see what 63 is I don't know if it's like crazy or what um, not that bad. So let's upgrade this guy. There we go. Speed it up a little bit, homie. There we go. So now we have a solid support with that chopper and our octopus and crocodile monkey and the glue gunner over here. So I think we'll be fine. Get this guy here. I think 65 comes out to be pretty gnarly on this though because 63 wasn't. Don't know guys. We'll see though, right? All right, we have two more banana farms to upgrade. I hope we have the time. Um, I don't even know if we should because we only you now we're only 15 levels away. But let's see here. Get another one here. There we go. 
boom, boom, boom. We have one more. So I'm going to get greedy. And this might be our downfall. I might lose because of this. But you know what, guys? That's what, that's what I do here. I, I take too much effort on things. And I spend too much money. And you don't really need all this money. But I like to have it, you know? Never... Having too much money is never an issue in Glutes. You're never like, oh man, what do I spend it on? You always have something to spend it on, that's for sure. Given that, I would like to get 35,000 for Archmage. These are worth 4,000 each. So we're looking at four times five, it's only 20. So at $14,000, if we can get that high without upgrading any more towers, I'm going to sell all of them and get an Archmage and he's gonna handle the rest of the game for us, hopefully. But meanwhile, we're gonna hopefully not die. So that's my that's my goal, guys. To get seven more thousand without dying, we're gonna sell all of our things, use Archmage to beat the rest of the game, and hope that everything goes as planned. If it doesn't, well, we tried, right? So now we need four more thousand, right? Four, five more thousand. Okay, so let's get this right so we don't undersell. So we need twenty. We have twenty thousand there, and we need fourteen five sixty. What we need to have right on hand is fourteen thousand five hundred sixty dollars. Let's do it. But with my luck, at 13,860, something huge will come out. We'll have to upgrade everything. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen. 14,000. So for 15,000, just be safe. Okay, let's do this, guys. Sell, 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 buy. Now the mage is going to destroy. Destroy, 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 destroy. So did you really need to do that? Not so much. What you could have done is bought another chopper, which I'm about to do anyway. Put him in range of, of our camo detector. Go that one, that one, and we're gonna go for the other one. And we're gonna try to get 20,000. And basically, it's not gonna happen. We don't have enough time or money for that. But uh, the chopper paired with the Archmage, as I've used in many other videos, is a very, 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 very strong, strong and that's my new word for strong and solid combo. Uh, because he chases him around the map, flies around, does his little thing, Apache Chief and everywhere. And then the mage just comes in here and just says, get out of my way and does all the damage. You shall not pass, you know. So that's a pretty strong combo. We're not going to have enough for it. I'm not going to sell things to get that far. Uh, this monkey will do all of the job on his own. Archmage will handle the rest of it. I hope. If not, we'll sell things, buy things. You know, the whole shebang like we always do. But the Archmage is worth it. And... What I would have done is, say, let's say you didn't want to use monkey farmers and you didn't want to use banana farms. You could have just kept on slowly going by, um, bought a couple more choppers maybe, bought in the plane. Um, you probably could have gotten a super monkey and got super monkey up to those double purple arms. You know, the little speed arms that shoot out plasma beams. Those are pretty cool and they will do some damage. Or you could have gone dark knight and that could have saved you some stuff. But being that we did have banana farms and we played our game right, we didn't have any problems, we had enough money to sell and get the Archmage pretty early, I would say. And as you can see, nothing's even getting past that first corner, which is awesome. So we do need 21,000 and we have 10,000. So if we wanted to get a little creative, we could sell this cool little guy here for 5,000 and we could sell our, you know, we could sell our sniper and maybe crocodile monkey over there and maybe our ninja because he's kind of a waste too but I don't really want to but I might because you can never have too much popping power guys never have too much popping power so let's count it out and I don't feel like doing math right now because it's kind of late where I'm at so we need 21,000 we have 13 so that would mean we need 8,000 more correct so if with 8,000 we could sell this guy and this guy no, not him, this guy. That one, and that one, and we did it. So again, you didn't have to do that. The little Chinook guy would have done just fine kicking some butt on his own, doing his thing, but I like the Apache because he tries really hard. And A for effort on the Apache. He's not the best, he's not the strongest, he's not the fastest, he just does what he does. He flies around, buzzing around, shooting everything down, and for the most part, he chases them pretty good. And considering that he's on pursuit, and he has the ability to follow you around the map, I would say he does more damage. Like, obviously, the mage is ballistics, right? He's at 246,000 balloons popped compared to this guy at 30,000. But the mage has to wait for him to come to him. The Apache just comes at him quick and gets him going. So I love him. <laughs> so we are on level 80. We are going to beat this. And we're doing pretty good. 
and we're not gonna have any issues. That's all there is to it because the Archmage is beast. If you haven't, if I haven't proven that yet to you, you now know. So basically what we did there to shorten it up is we got past the crazy beginning where you have to have everything prepped, but then we got as many banana farms as we could fit around a monkey farmer. We sold them all when we had the money for the Archmage and he did the rest of the work for us. Then we sold a couple more, got the Apache Chief and the Apache Chief and Archmage can pretty much take down anything. So that's what we did. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button. And the next one will probably be uh, Alpine Run on Impoppable, so we can do that Chimps one for Bach. So we'll get to it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.